Well, I don't think it's such a good idea. Come on, Bob. You have a lot of young listeners. They really want something a little more modern. Well... Trust me, Bob. Now I'm going to play some music, and you just go ahead, as you normally do, with your intro. Let's let's just try it. Well, I guess I could try it. Okay. You ready now? Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Let's go. Mm. It's good. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. This is Bob. Keep going. That's right. Go ahead. I want everyone to know. The Boxcar 7-Eleven Old Time Radio. Excellent. Keep going. I'm just an email away. Boxcar 7-Eleven at gmail.com. That was very good, Bob. We just have to keep practicing. Well, I don't know. It's It'll be just little... fine, Bob. It may be a little difficult till we can get a handle on it. Well... The Boxcar 7-Eleven more modern old-time radio. Oh, my. There's just no jobs out there. Right away, Judgment. It's a matter of life or death. Yes, and you relax too, folks, if you can, because here he is again, the youngster millions of readers of Archie Comics know and love so well, and brought to you by Swift and Company, makers of Swift Premium Franks, Archie Andrews and all his gang. Tender beef, juicy pork, known from the West Coast to New York, Swift Premium Franks, with Premium Franks, in a new handy one-pound pack. Yes, for your guarantee of protection, with Premium Franks, now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one-pound packages. Made right here in your own vicinity or in a nearby city, Swift Premium Franks are wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor with all their natural goodness sealed in. That mouth-watering flavor goodness of beef and pork blended together is wrapped in cellophane for your protection. So, kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's Premium Franks, and mom, get some today. They're delicious. And you'll be glad to know that every delectable morsel of Swift's Premium Franks is extra nourishing, extra good. Ask for them today. Swift Premium Franks in the sanitary one-pound package. And now suppose you join me in a visit to the town where I live. Riverdale is its name. And it's pretty much a typical American city. It's got two schools, one park, seven churches, a museum, a zoo, and the Andrews family. Suppose we make the Andrews home our first stop. It's Saturday evening, and we find Mrs. Andrews in the living room, sewing, as Archie Andrews has... I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. Da, 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 da. Oh, hi, Ma. Well, Archie, what are you so happy about? Me? Oh, I don't know, Mom. Guess maybe it's my big date tonight. Oh, you're going now? Sure, Mom. It's Saturday night, you know. I'm going to the dance. Oh, who are you taking, dear? Well, I'm taking Veronica and Jug's taking Betty. But we're all going together. Oh, well, that's nice. You should have a lovely time. Yeah, I think we will. Well, I better start dressing or I'll... How long can that be? I'll get it, Mom. Oh, hi, dear. She was Jughead. Who'd you expect? Coffee head? <laughs> <laughs> Jughead, I expected you, but not so soon. I'm not even dressed yet. So oh, hurry up. I want to get to the dance early. Why the rush? The only time I can dance without bumping into everyone is when no one else is on the dance floor. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hello, Jughead. Oh, hello, Mrs. Andrews. What you doing? Still darning some socks. Oh, you are? See, I had a big hole in my sock when I was dressing tonight. Is that so? Yeah, but it's okay now. 
Well, did you show it to yourself? No. I decided not to wear any socks. <laughs> oh, fine. Jughead, you mean you're going to the dance without any socks? Sure. These pants are too long anyway. <laughs> oh, for pity's sake. Well, listen, Jug, if we want to get there early, I better get started. Come on upstairs while I get dressed. Okay, Art. Okay, Jug. Hello, dear. Hello, Fred. I wonder... Fred, why are you wearing your bathrobe and slippers? What do you want me to wear? Negligee and galoshes? <laughs> Fred, never mind being funny. And tell me why you're in your bathrobe at 7.30. Well, my dear, it so happens that unless you have some violent objections, I am going to take a bath. A bath? Bath. Oh, but Fred, I thought we might go to a movie tonight, Not dear. tonight, dear. I'm just in the mood for a nice, hot bath. Yes, sir, I'd like nothing better than to relax for about half an hour and just soap and soap. Ah, yes, sir, that's my motto tonight. Soap and soap. Or soap and soap. Bet you can't say that three times fast. No, dear, I probably can't. Well, go ahead, try it. Soap and soap, soap and soap, soap and soap. You see, it can't be done. Oh, honestly, <laughs> Fred, won't you ever grow up? Now, go on, take your back. Mary, that's exactly what I'm going to do right this minute. Now, what if that's going to be hot enough? Let's try it. Oh, sure is hot. Gosh, better put some cold water on. Well, that ought to be about right now. Let's see. Ooh, freezing. Whoa. A minute ago it was too hot, and now it's too... Oh, well, it's more hot will do it. That to do it. Now, let's see. Ah, yes, sir, just right. Yes, sir, <laughs> Just exactly. Is that the phone? <laughs> That is the phone. Mary, are you getting that? Mary? Oh, fine. Now, where'd she disappear to? Well, I suppose I'll have to answer it myself. I don't know why that phone always rings at the wrong time. Always. All right, all right, I'm coming. Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Andrews. This is Betty. Oh, hello, Betty. I don't think so, Betty. I haven't seen him since dinner. Oh. Well, I just wanted to talk to him about the dance we're all going mm-hmm. to tonight. Would you give him a message for me, Mr. Andrews? Yes, Betty. What is it? Well, would you tell him to try real hard not to be late? Uh, not to be late. Because somehow he always is late, especially to dance. Yeah, especially to dance. And we always miss half the dance. We always miss half the dance. And this one, I'd like to get there right at the start of the dance. Uh, start of the dance. Can you remember all that, Mr. Andrews? Uh, yes, Betty, but would it be all right with you if I just told Archie you want, to get, want him to get there on time? Well, yes, I guess that's the same thing. All right, I'll tell him. Thanks a lot, Mr. Andrews. Well, not at all, Betty. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. Right. Oh, now you get here. Mary, where were you when that phone was ringing? I said I was out in the kitchen and my hands were wet and I couldn't come to the phone. All right. But it so happens I was about to take a bath. And had to come all the way down here just because Betty wants Archie to be on time at some dance. Oh, is that all? Yes, that's all. And if the phone rings again, you answer it. Yes, dear, I will. All right. Fine thing. Have to do everything around here. I... I... Now, who locked this confounded door? Archie, are you in there? Yes, Dad. I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Oh, all right, but don't be too... Taking a bath in my tub? Archie, I was going to take a bath. Gee whiz, Dad, I'm going out tonight, and I've got to take a bath before I get wet. So you see a nice tub of hot water, and you just jump right in. You think that water grew there? Gee, no, I thought Mom got it ready for me. Oh, fine. Well, I guess now that you're in the tub, you're in the tub. But don't stay there all night, you hear? Be right out, Dad. Yeah, we'll be right out. Jughead, what are you doing in there? I'm scrubbing Archie's back. Oh, great. Well, scrub a little faster and get out of there. Okay. Mary! Yes, dear? Mary, do you know what happened? 
While I was down here taking a message for Archie, Archie was upstairs taking a bath for me. What? Yes, he did. Jumped right into the bathtub while my back was turned. Oh, for pity's sake. Yes, oh, for pity's sake. Hello. Oh, Veronica. Is Archie there? No, he's upstairs in the... Uh, he's upstairs, Veronica. Oh, would you mind calling him to the phone? Mine? Huh. I love it, Veronica. Absolutely love it. Archie! Oh, Archie! Why, me, Dad? Yes, Archie. Telephone. He was okay, Dad. Just a minute. Veronica, you'll be right here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, Mary, I guess that'll teach that boy to take a bath when no one's looking. What? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> but you're just cutting off your nose to fight the face, you know. Now you'll only have to wait that much longer to take your bath. Yes, but I... Mm, never thought of that. Thanks, Dad. Archie, what are you doing running around in that towel? Gee whiz, Mom, I can't run around without it. Archie, don't be funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. Answer the phone. Hi. Hello? Hello? Yes, Archie? Yes, Mom? Yes, Archie? Yes, Archie? Yes, Archie? Say something or get off that phone. She was okay, Dad, okay. Hello, Veronica. Yes. Did you want to speak to me about anything special? Well, yes, I. I wonder if we could get to the dance a little late. Did you say late, Veronica? Uh-huh. I hate to be the first one there. I thought I could make an answer, Well, I guess so. All right. Then I'll see you a little later. Bye now, Bye now, Veronica. Bye now. Bye. Bye. See, that's Veronica. Archie, I'll Veronica you. Get up there and finish that bath. Oh, okay, Dad. Okay, I'll be out before you can say Jack Robinson. Archie, I don't want to say Jack Robinson. I want to take a bath. Mary, we're going to have to do something about that boy. Now, Fred. Never mind the now, Fred. I like to take a bath when I'm in the mood for taking a bath, and not just any time. That boy knew I was waiting, and yet he stood around on that phone giggling like he was laying an egg. Yes, Fred. But he'll be through in a minute. Laying an egg? No, taking a bath. Well, a minute's too long. You should be through by now. Archie! Yes, sir? Archie, are you out of that tub yet? No, Dad. I'm waiting for it to fill up. Oh, all right. Fill up! <laughs> Mary, you see what I... Fred, remember your blood pressure. Blood pressure? Mary, in a minute I won't need a hot bath. I'm boiling right now. (laughs) Mary, if that boy is... Well, it's about time. There, dear, you see? See what? Oh, never mind. Just go take your bath. Well, thank you, madame. Thank you. I'm so glad I have your permission. <laughs> Just go take your bath, she said. Huh. What does she think I've been trying to do all evening? Play ping pong? Fine thing. Well, anyway, he's finally out of here. Now, maybe I can take a nice... Oh, oh no. Mary! Yes? This water's ice cold! It is! Well, oh, Archie must have used all the hot water. Oh, fine. Well, what do I do now? Jug, it wasn't the house. It was the water pipe knocking. Oh, what was that? Mary, for the third and last time, the water pipe was knocking. Knocking? Yes, knocking. Evidently, the washer is gone. Wash it? Yes. The rubber washer that keeps the faucet from leaking must be worn out. 
Look, why do I have to explain how the whole house is built? This faucet needs a new washer, that's all. Oh, well, I guess you just have to forget about your bath. I'll call a plumber tomorrow. Dear. Mary, I am not going to forget about my bath. But tomorrow is Sunday and you can't get a plumber on Sunday. But and I want a bath tonight. But that... And any fool can put a new washer in a faucet. So I'm going to do it by George even if I have to rebuild the whole house. <laughs> to tell you the news. News? What news? The big news. What the news? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, no, I don't think I have. Oh, that's fine. Then I can be the first to tell you. Tell me what? Oh, gosh, I, I, I just don't know where to begin. But I just found out that Swift's Premium Franks, you know those extra delicious Franks that are all dinner quality meat? Mm -hmm. Well, you can get them now in a new handy one-pound cellophane package. Really, Mr. Sherry? Why, that's simply grand. It will be so convenient that way to buy them in a handy package. Harry! Oh, and that cellophane package makes them completely sanitary, doesn't it? Sanitary? Well, that cellophane wrapping, you know that Swift's premium francs are extra fresh, wholesome, and flavorful, no matter where or when you buy them. Harry! Ma'am? What was that? What'd you say? I was saying anything. Oh, excuse me. As I was saying... Besides being convenient and sanitary, the new cellophane package assures you that Swift's premium franks reach you at the very peak of their flavored goodness. Juicy pork and tender beef blended together in one delightful frank. My land, what'll they think of next? Well, I'm sure glad you told me about Swift's premium franks, Mr. Sherry. You know, my mother told me about the wonderful products Swift makes before I was married, and her mother told her about them years ago. So we're really a Swift family from way back. Oh, Mrs. Andrews, what a real pleasure it is to talk to you. Oh, Mr. Jerry. And you know, Mrs. Andrews, to make sure that Swift premium francs reach you as fresh as fresh can be, Swift makes them close to where they're sold, makes them in the vicinity or in a nearby city. <laughs> Jerry, I'm certainly glad you took all the trouble to come down here and tell me these things. Oh, no trouble at all. And I do hope I haven't taken up too much of your time. But when I heard about the new Flavor Saver Pack, I rushed right over here because I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm certainly glad you did. In fact, I think I'll go down and get some Swiss Premium Franks right now. Well, Mrs. Andrews, I'll drive you down. All right, just as soon as I get my things. Let's see now, um... Here's my purse. Hat and keys. I'm sure Mr. Andrews will be wild about those pranks. Yes, I am. Mr. Andrews? Oh, dear. I forgot. 
He's under the boiler. Under the what? I, I, I can't explain just now, but I'll just have to drive down myself later. But thank you so much for dropping by. It was a pleasure, Mrs. Andrews. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Sherry. <laughs> Fred, what are you shouting about? Turn water off. Well, Fred, I don't know. You don't know? What are you doing up there? Taking a gallop home? <laughs> Fred, don't be sarcastic. Archie! Yes, ma'am? Is the water off up there? Sure, it's been off for ten minutes. Fred, the water's off. Now what do you want me to do? Not a thing, Mary. Not a thing. Just come pull me out from under this boiler. Oh, Fred, I still say you ought to let a plumber do the job. Now, Mary, let's not go through that again. Now that we have the water shut off, it won't take two seconds. Besides, I really need a bath after crawling around down in that basement. Well, you could let him do it. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. oh, hello, Jughead. What are you doing up here? Waiting for Art. Where is he? In the bathroom. In the bathroom? Archie, are you in there? Sure, Jack. Don't you want me in here? No, not anymore. Now unlock this door so I can get at that faucet. Unlock it? But I never locked it. Archie, you must have. This door is locked. See? See where? How could that happen? I am not interested in how it happened. Just unlock it. But that's the lock part isn't turned. It's the door knob. The knob? Yes. Yeah, it fell off. Fell off? Oh, no. Fred, is that serious? Oh, no, dear. Not at all. I'll just have to saw this door open now. That's all. <laughs> Oh, what a job. He was dead. What are you stopping for? Archie, I just stopped to catch my breath for a minute. Now be patient. I'm almost through here. See, can you hurry, Dad? Jug and I got safe. Archie, I am hurrying. Now just be quiet. I didn't intend to spend Saturday night waiting outside a bathroom. Doug, you be quiet, too. Your father be through in a minute, Archie. Yeah. Just a few more strokes. And I... Yeah. yeah. That does it. Thank goodness. Archie, see if you can knock that piece out. What piece? The piece of wood around the doorknob that I just sawed. Okay, Dad. Look out. There. There, I did it. Good boy. Hello, everybody. Hello. Now get your head out of that hole and open the door. <laughs> boy, I bet not many houses have a hole in the bathroom door. <laughs> Archie, just get your head out of that hole. Okay, I'll... Mm. That's funny. Archie, hurry up. You with that? Don't you think I would if I could? Yes, Archie, I know you... If you could. Archie, what do you mean? Oh, dear. His head is stuck in there. And how? Stuck? How can it be stuck? He got it in, didn't he? Yeah. But it sure won't come out. He went. Now, listen, Archie. If it went in, it's got to come out. Archie, hold still a minute. Hey, what are you doing, Dad? Don't you put your hands here that way. The only way to get him out. Dad, quit it. Hey, don't do that. Well... I guess that won't work. Now, let's see. There must be some way to do this. Maybe you should take the hinges off. I can't. They're inside. Well, Archie, can't you open that door? No, Mom. It opens out and my shoulders are jammed against the wall. There must be some way. There better be some way. I'll feel a little silly wearing a door around my neck the rest of my life. Especially a bathroom door. I knew it looked good. Doug, be quiet. Fred, never mind, Doug. Get Archie out. I think he's turning blue. Now, Mary, don't get hysterical. He is not turning blue. No. Just a little green. Doug, keep quiet. Well, oh, Fred, do something. Mary, I am. Now, just be patient for a moment. Look, Archie. Mm-hmm. I have a plan. Mm-hmm. You must have put your head in sideways. Mm-hmm. The hole is washed that way. 
Maybe I did. Well, then try to take it out that way. Go on, turn your head sideways. Okay. Turn it more. Okay. Turn it more. Okay. If he turns it any more, he won't know if he's coming or going. <laughs> Keep trying, Archie. Here, I'll, I'll help you. Ouch, not so hard, Dad. Friends are ringing your neck, Dad. The best thought of the evening. Come on, Archie, turn. Okay, I'm turning. Hey, I'm out. Oh, thank goodness. Gee. Archie, I think... Oh, dear. Jughead, please go see who that is. Okay, Mrs. Ed. Now, Archie, look out so I can get to that faucet and put that washer in. Fred, why don't you give up that give idea? Give up now? Mary, don't be silly. The worst is over. All I have to do is turn this faucet on and... Be with... Oh, dear. Oh, for Pete's sake. Archie, I thought you said the water was turned off. Yes, it was off, Dad. Archie, are you sure? Part of it. But the pipes did not that time. Yes, I know they didn't. You did not. Oh, good grief. Did not? Fred, you mean that you started all this fuss for no reason? Now, Mary, I had no... Betty and Veronica are on. Hello, Archie. Veronica, just wait a moment. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Archie, this Hello, is no... Hello, everybody. Time. Betty, would you please wait a moment? Mary, I don't want to know. Mary, I don't want to know. Mary, I don't want to know. Mary, I don't Fire! That's better. Now listen to me, all of you. Nonsense has gone far enough, do you hear? Far enough. Yes, Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. Now all I want to do is take a bath. That's all. Just a nice, quiet bath. Is that asking too much? No, Mr. Andrews. No, dear. No, Dad. All right. Now, I admit, I don't know what the dickens happened to those water pipes. But the fact remains, if you kids hadn't been getting in my way all evening, I'd have had my bath an hour ago. Yes, Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> so if you kids are going to a dance, for Pete's sake, go ahead and I'll get my bath. Okay, Dad, okay. Come on, just let's get out of here. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well... That's and thank goodness it is. I don't want to hear any more about a bath. Don't worry, you won't. <coughs> oh, me. Quite a night. Quite a night. I don't suppose anything else can happen. Ah, just feel that water. Just right. Yum, da, dee, da, dee, 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 yum, da, 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 Well, that ought to be enough water. Fine. Now, to take this bathrobe off. Yeah. And step in. Oh, oh, a little warm. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, there we are. Oh, it's fine. Fine. It's what the doctor ordered. Now, all I need is... Oh, fine. Mary! Oh, Mary! Bring me a piece of soap, please. No, there isn't. Aren't you must have used the last of it. Mary, all I want is a piece of soap. Forget my... Oh, how do these things happen to me? <laughs> yes, it never rains, but it pours at the Andrews house. We'll see how the storm ended in just a moment. Meanwhile... Tender beef, juicy pork, known from the West Coast to New York, with premium franks, with premium franks. And now, back to the Andrews. Mr. and Mrs. Andrews have just gotten to sleep. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Archie. Oh. 
Yes, you. Did I wake you? Yes, Archie, you certainly did. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you'd be asleep. Well, we're not now. Did you have a nice time at the dance, dear? Well, sort of, Mom. Veronica and I won the jitterbug contest. Oh, that's nice. But you'd think that dance committee would spend some money on prizes. Why? What'd you get? Well, Veronica got some nice perfume, but all I got was some plain old bath soap. What? Oh, no. You've been listening to another chapter of the adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Dantel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Norman and Arthur Q. Bryan. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program was produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen again next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift Premium Franks, bring you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sherry wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long.